Greetings everybody. Uh, apologies for the lack of videos lately. Um, I've been dealing with some personal stuff. Uh, I might address that at some point in the future. I don't know. Uh, really appreciate all those extra subscriptions I'm getting. Um, I really appreciate that guys. Thanks very much. Uh, it's great for the channel and it's encouraging. Uh, it's helped me get off my backside and do some more videos. Also, the whole coronavirus lockdown as well. Uh, currently in Dublin we're on lockdown at the moment, although the government won't call it that. They're using various friendly terms such as um, lifestyle adjustment and stuff like that. But the reality is it's a lockdown. It's a quarantine. We're not allowed to leave our homes except to get uh, food, medical supplies, or if we want to, or if we've got a job and we can't work from home, that's okay. And if we want to exercise or do anything leisurely, we can only go two kilometers from our home and that's to stop all the crazy people who would never normally think about visiting the countryside suddenly deciding to visit the countryside because they've been told they can't. And what happened uh, last week when they introduced a soft lockdown, a voluntary lockdown, was a, um, a, pl a place called Glendalock, which would normally receive 50 visitors a day on a day like today in this kind of cold weather, suddenly got uh, 500 visitors in one day. And all the car parks were jammed with cars and everyone was pushing and shoving along country paths and it was the complete opposite of social isolation so, social isolation uh, social distancing so uh, i think the government has made the right call in that regard to stop that happening anyway um enough of me waffling on let's talk about morse keys and how hollywood has lied to you uh, now if you know about amateur radio you'll this is probably means nothing you know all this already uh, if you don't know about uh, amateur radio or you weren't from, say, a military radio background, this might interest you. Now, if you watch most movies showing someone using Morse code, be it something from the 20s, 30s, usually World War II films, or something even as recent as the 60s and set in the 60s or 70s, you'll almost see that certainly see the Morse operator using a straight key like this. And there'll be a lot of travel on it. Uh, and they'll be, they'll be like doing this. So they're doing SOS. It's like do 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 That's actually not how these work, believe it or not. Um, if you were having that much travel, you would find that your wrists would start to hurt and your fingers would start to hurt. And you'd be getting vibration white finger, carpal tunnel syndrome. The stuff that office workers get nowadays. In reality, what would happen is these would be very carefully adjusted so there'd be very, very little travel at all. And you go down, you, talk, you, do, you turn this nut, these adjusting nuts, until it barely touches. That's a bit too tight there. Then you lock it in place. Let's loosen that up a bit there. There we go. So if I turn that to the side, you can barely see it, but, but you can hear the connection being made. Uh, it's very little travel, much more, goes much easier on your wrists and arms, and there would be barely any muscle movements whatsoever. Um, but then Hollywood lies to you again, not uh, in that they're showing straight keys in recent times. Um, the reality is, is these are early 20th century things, and uh, from around the Second World War onwards, the chances are... People would have ditched this style of Morse key for what's known as, if I can find where I put it, the iambic key, which is this. Now, it's a very heavy piece of metal, uh, weighs about a kilogram, it's chunky. Uh, and these are different in that instead of the straight key, which is on or off, there's actually a ground here, and I've left the wires exposed so you can see it. This is not the best way of wiring, but I did it this way just so you can see. So that's your ground tip and negative. So use a standard headphone plug to plug it into your radio. So basically what happens is as you touch these keys, you, op you create two different circuits. So the circuit is either sleeve and tip or sleeve and ground. And one is for dots and one is for dashes, but you don't go dot, 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 dash, dash, dash. No, nope. the, the radio you're using, which sends out the Morse code or continuous wave, as it's officially known, will just 
transmitted a certain speed of dots and dashes for each for as long as you keep this pressed down. So if you go dot 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 dash 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 dash. The big advantage of this is it's much more easier on your wrists, uh, physically less painful for people who are sitting doing this all day, and also you can send code a lot, lot faster. In fact, there's some video search for competitive Morse code. You'll see people like rattling out 100 words per minute using stuff like this. It's, it's compressive, it really is. I'll show it to you in action. Uh, so if we bring in the KX3 radio and turn her on, Transmit power has been set to zero, so it won't actually be transmitting anything. Um, there's actually a built-in key that screws onto the bottom of this, but I'm not using that now. Uh, and I'll turn the speed down to eight words per minute, which is the lowest you can go on this unit. And uh, let's see what it sounds like. So I'll do SMS instead of SOS. SMS. And if I was to ramp up the speed, I can go up to like what's the fastest? Like they're 50s, no way I'm going to be doing that. But like, but there are people who can do this, you know. So, uh, for me, I would be more of a 12 words per minute kind of guy. So, um, there you go. There are other similar kinds of keys. There's another key called the Vibroplex, which um, actually use, works, works on the same principle as this, except that there's a it's all mechanical. So there's a, a spring-loaded mechanism that as you use it, you kind of wind it up for the next. It's You best go on off on YouTube and searching for videos of Vibroplex keys in action for, for that to make sense. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of key any serious Morse code enthusiast would have used since the the 1940s onwards and they take a bit of adjustment so you've got these screws here for adjusting how how much you want to travel the keys so sad that doesn't even make connection or you can have it like virtually a slightest tap and some people prefer the slightest tap some people prefer a bit more travel. Uh, yeah, so there. That's a little thing about Morse code keys that uh, Hollywood, uh, which has you thinking everyone uses straight keys, reality doesn't. It's uh, it's all about these types of keys, iambics, or for people who are gluttons for punishment, vibroplexes. Um, yeah, like I say, the straight keys are still used. There is a lot of straight key enthusiasts, but. Um, these are just so much easier to use and they're just a much more pleasant experience if you're going to be using them on a regular basis. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,